Welcome to the Spirit Centered Business Podcast, where we blend the spiritual with the practical for supernatural results. Now, here is your host, Berlin Newby. Well, hello there. Welcome to Spirit Centered Business. I have something special for you this week. I didn't schedule a guest, so I am without adult supervision (laughs) today. And I also thought I'd give you something else in the background to look at because I know it's more interesting to see two people, but it's just me today. But what I am going to do today is read from my book, Planning to Profit, Architecting Your Unique Story into a Business You Love. And I've never done this. I've never really put it out there in the public because, I don't know, there there's several reasons, but my um, designer is reformatting it and we're putting it on Amazon. It's available on my website on berlinnewby.com. And, you know, my clients have had it in some other peeps from when I'm out doing speaking gigs and I have the books with me. I've sold the books that way. But uh, I just wanted to share this with you. I'm going to just read chapter one and don't feel like you need to listen to this all the way through because you can, I don't know how long it's going to take to get through it. I just know that I want to get through chapter one. So um, however far you can get at one sitting is great. Just come back and listen to the rest of it. You are welcome to do that. Okay, so first of all, this book is for coaches, speakers, and influencers. Someone who has a wisdom-based business who wants to influence others. And anyone who has an educational piece of their business where if they were to use that education to Um, or use that information to educate their potential buyers, then their customers would have a more informed decision and would know that they are the expert and that they would want to buy the product from them. So that's what this is for. It's how to put that all together and really monetize the message that's on your heart, the, the wisdom that you've gathered through your life experience and through all of the, you know, jobs that we've had or, you know, all of those things. But it's also from, from the messes that we've made in our past that we've overcome. And I always like to say, make your mess, your message. And then of course, monetize it. You know, people need to hear what you have to say, and you are valuable. Your voice needs to be heard. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and start reading. First of all, I'm going to read the back cover. So this is a business, mind, and personal development book. When it's on the bookshelves, that's where you will see it. You are designed to be happy, fulfilled, and significant. And your story is designed to help others. Nothing is more attractive to your ideal client than you being fully you. The three golden keys of planning to profit are number one, the mindset. Are you really planning to profit? Our minds are fascinating, powerful, and often unwittingly misprogrammed. How you use your mind to create, attract, and or repel is critical to your ability to profit. Number two, the strategy. Do you have an executable plan in place to profit by sharing your brilliance and expertise? This blueprint walks you through designing and building a workable content strategy to monetize your unique story. Number three, the journey. So many visionary people are awesomely amazing at planning dreaming up new ways to share, to serve people and add value to the world, but aren't so great at execution, actually getting to profit. So get activated, systematized, and structured to keep your brilliance train on the rails. All right. The rest, the little bit on the bottom there is about me. You don't, you don't need to know about me. I don't like to read about me. So we're going to just pass that part up. All righty then. 
This book is dedicated to my mother, Diane, who believes in me and encourages me no matter what, and to her mother, Glenda, who gave me the moxie to be myself no matter what. Ooh, starting off to a good start. With deep appreciation and thanks, I humbly honor those who lifted me up through the messes in my life that brought me to writing this book. It's only by God's grace that it's even in your hands. I thank him every day for protecting and restoring me and always laughing at my jokes. Melissa Sehaj, my God-given angel. Judy Flannery, who takes such great care of me. Eddie Smith, my best friend and champion. Doug Tox, my rock of reason and fellow risk taker. Larry and Lori Hill, my spiritual mentors and hope instillers. Gil and Adina Hodges, who guide me to go deeper and come up higher. Steve Valencia, my ever so patient teacher and friend. Laura Van, the voice of self-care and healing in my head. Kelsey Marie Arsenault, my iron sharpener. Janine Stafford, my friend, confidant, and muse. Coach Gary Henson, who saw my talent and invested in me. Brad Erlinson, the very first to believe that I could help him get his message out. Craig Duswald, who ignited my fire to get this book done. Friends and family who inspire and encourage me. Please fill in your name here. And my dad, Charles Newby, whose ceaseless prayers keep me afloat. Okay, the contents, I'm not gonna read the contents page. We're gonna go straight to the foreword. This is by Kiri Marie Moore. As a result of my working with global leaders, I always love when people want to play big, want to think outside the box, and are willing to push to new levels and have an attitude of I can. So when a determined, direct, and fearless woman who is not afraid to have a strong voice walks into my mastermind room, I get excited about the possibility this opportunity can bring. Berlin is not someone you can or want to ignore. She embraces the strength of who she is, what she is about, and how she helps others to transform and reach their God-given destiny. She is beautiful inside and out with a heart for the people she reaches. Her passion is evident as she stops others from holding back, invites them to step into their potential, and architects their message through her strategically designed structure and systems. Throughout the following pages, you will find a great combination of knowledge, skill training, and the how to actually get out there and profit. We all have a story, you and me and Berlin, but it is a matter of whether you choose to stay in your old story and remain stuck or move forward into a new story. In a strange, strange twist of fate, Berlin was brought face to face with what her true message was. She went from loving a career in architecture and construction to the deep fulfillment of designing wisdom-based business strategies and building thought leaders. I think she sums it up perfectly when she says, it breaks my heart to hear brilliant people say they can't write a book or build a business around the message on their heart because they haven't arrived. Yet I say you can inspire others while you are still under construction. Yeah, it does break my heart. Okay, it's true. Life is a journey with so many things to learn along the way, good and bad. You may have valid reasons to let things hold you back, yet it is always your decision whether you let them determine your destination or choose a new path. This book shows you how to have no excuses and to get out there and be the best you possible. When you do this, it affects not only you, but your sphere of influence as well. As a global advisor and a strategist, I continue to create a global movement where I increase the percentage of equal distribution at the top decision labels to make the right decision fast and give voice and advocacy to the forefront of humanity. 
To see these changes, there is an extreme need for disruption to go beyond the norm, innovation to master the art of decisions, collaboration to be the voice of change, and contribution to impact humanity. No longer is it an option to stay status quo, unless you want to remain in the same, repeating the same results, or be lost amongst the noise of the world. If you want to achieve dreams, but have no strategic plan or to achieve them, then staying status quo will be your default option. Otherwise, be willing to change your patterns, have a voice worth listening to, and be strategic. I get to spend time with global leaders across the world, people like Sir Richard Branson, the man behind Virgin and Virgin Unite, Tina Shen, the chief of staff to the former first lady and former assistant to President Obama, and Ingrid Vandervelt, the woman behind Empower a Billion Women by 2020, and former in-house entrepreneur for Dell, making them millions. My business is wildly successful internationally, but the reason I want to learn from these people is that they are getting kicked as results. I want to learn from them to know what to do and what not to do. Don't reinvent the wheel, just springboard off of it. This is exactly what you can do from the value Berlin provides in this book. She allows you to springboard off the solutions she offers you as a visionary influencer to equip and activate. Solutions like don't waste any more time or energy, but begin to utilize your emotional intelligence to work for you along your critical pathway. Also, check out how she shows you how to design your own dashboard, all about staying on track with your individual goal metrics. It's your responsibility to choose. When you do, serious change can and will occur. I love when there is not just talk, but action. The time for change is now. If you want to be intentional, straight to the point, and to shake up the state of your business, then planning to profit, architecting your unique story into a business you love is a must read. This book is content rich, filled with insights to the importance of taking the right action and exercises so you can easily take action immediately. So get to it. Your butt kicker, Kiri Marie Moore, founder and CEO of Decision Velocity Global, theleadersmovement.com, and Voice Advocacy Foundation, and host of the Leaders Movement podcast. Thank you, Katie Marie. I need to get you on the show. Okay, you guys, we are done with the forward, and I'm going to take a little drink here. All right. I don't want to edit, so I'm not going to stop. Introduction. I developed my signature planning to profit process by trial and error while working with my clients. So many of them were brilliant visionary people with incredible wisdom to share, but we're missing two things. The analytical skills to see the gaps and design a workable profit path to, excuse me, with their wisdom and the belief in themselves that they could do it. When we started designing profit paths that priced content in higher ranges, my, eye, my client's eyes would glaze over because they could not see themselves earning that much for their knowledge and expertise. I realized we needed to address mindset and self-worth issues up front and give them, get them to the revenue generation quickly to reinforce their belief in themselves. What came from that research testing face plants and tweaks, not to mention tens of thousands of dollars in training and mentoring, was this repeatable system. Now we could take their unique story, experiences, and insights and design a profitable business model and develop a belief system that ignited them to activate. 
This book supplements and elaborates on my signature planning to profit process and supports our planning to profit live and online programs. Participants who fully implement this training make money by the end of the eight module or eight week program. And I had a little asterisk there, which I'm going to get to in a minute. Just in case you were wondering why I hesitated. I saw the asterisk and I thought, oh, we're going to get there. While I do include the entire planning to profit P2P process overview, you'll notice that the chapters and sections of the book do not follow it exactly because there is so much more here. This action guide goes beyond the process by including examples, activations, my first, my first hand accounts of implementation and wisdom from the successes and pitfalls that I've encountered. Enjoy, be inspired, and activate Berlin. Okay, now here's the asterisks. It's in smaller print, great. <laughs> For the love of all that is holy, there are no formulas to get rich quick. It is my opinion that most people who purchase any quote unquote how to or quote self improvement product, including but not limited to my own, get little if any results because they don't implement. I believe this is because they don't take action. Oh, well, I actually wrote it. <laughs> See, I told you I needed adult supervision. <sighs> oh, okay, let's continue reading here. I'll stop the commentary. <laughs> I believe this is because they don't take action, that they don't keep trying after hitting the inevitable roadblock. And if you want to succeed, you need a good plan, a solid work ethic, and the ability to keep working toward your goals when you hit a snag. If you simply keep buying how-to information and never use it, you're wasting your time. Oh, and that was a Frank Kern statement. Hmm. The internet marketing guru, Frank Kern. I learned a lot from him, and I'm still learning from him. Okay, why planning to profit is important. You are designed to be happy, fulfilled, and significant. You matter, and the work you do matters. Your unique voice, your signature style, your story, however messed up crazy or ho oh, hum boring, is part of you. And you are important. In fact, your story is designed to help others. The three golden keys of planning to profit. You know what? I'm not going to repeat this because this is what's on the back of the book. Oh, wait, it's a different version. I better just do it. All right, you guys. Three golden keys of planning to profit. Besides, by now, you've forgotten them already anyway. Let's do it again. <laughs> Number one, the mindset. Are you really planning to profit? The brain is an incredible incredible machine and even more powerful and fascinating is the mind. How you use your mind to create, attract, or repel is critical in the success of your business and your, your ability to profit. Number two, the strategy. Do you have an executable plan in place to profit from your brilliance and expertise? Not what you do with it, but just by sharing it. Every entrepreneur, coach, consultant, and speaker has wisdom and inspiration inside them that can be turned into an additional revenue stream or an entire business model. The nuts and bolts of planning to profit is a blueprint that walks you through designing and building a workable content strategy to monetize your message. And number three, the journey. Getting out of the planning stage and into profit. So many visionary people are awesomely amazing at dreaming up new ways to serve people and add value to the world, but aren't so great at execution. Planning to Profit activates you and gives you tools to keep your brilliance train on the rails. The Planning to Profit process consists of three phases, discover, create, and deliver. And this book is divided into those sections. We also work on the three ways you can plan to profit, mindset, strategy, and making the journey. I will address all three phases to varying degrees throughout this book. The discover session, section introduces ideas and their importance to being profitable in your business. We also explore your unique story. In create, 
you will plan, build, and begin to implement the ideas from the discover session section. Here lies your opportunity to get rid of old stuff and bring in the new, especially with regard to mindset. And in the deliver section, you will begin to activate what you designed and create. You will begin to deliver excellence to yourself, to your business, and to your clients. And this is where the rubber meets the road. And you'll begin to see the reward of all your hard work. When you implement, you will actually get to profit. There are people on the other side of you getting over yourself who need you to be you, Berlin Newby. Okay. How to use this book. First of all, don't read it. Don't waste your time if you're not going to activate, period. I'm pouring this into you for one reason, your success. That won't happen without your engagement. If you're not willing to implement what you learn here, just pass this book on to someone who is ready and willing to go for it. And I'm totally serious. It doesn't do anyone any good if you just read the book. You need to implement. Okay, so if you're still reading, good. <laughs> Let's get to work. Number one, look at the table of contents and read the sections that most stand out for where you are right now. You'll find some tips and bits of wisdom are repeated for those who skip around rather than reading sequentially. Do the activation exercises. Number three, pick up the tools marked by the little, there's a little icon in there, and they can be downloaded for free at berlinnewbie.com forward slash tools, or you can purchase the entire P2P toolbox at a discount here, berlinnewbie.com forward slash P2P dash toolbox. The free tools are select downloadable PDF files, and the P2P toolbox is the entire PDF library plus executable files and bonus tools. All of the activations are also in the toolbox as well. I think there's a bonus there over there. I'm not going to tell you that, though. You have to go there to find out, berlinnewbie.com forward slash P2P dash toolbox. Number four, connect with me or connect, contact my team if you get stuck. We're here to help. Of course, on Facebook, I'm Berlin Newby. International is my page. And my email is activate at berlinnewby.com. My YouTube channel, which you're not really contacting me there, but you can check out my stuff, is Berlin Newby. And of course, I also have spiritcenteredbusiness.com, which you're watching the show, so you already know that. All right, and you can also schedule a complimentary Architect Your Awesome discovery call with me. And that is on berlinnewbie.com forward slash contact. And all of these links will be in the show notes. Wherever you are partaking of this, if you're watching me in this beautiful scene behind me with the water crashing on the rocks, or if you're listening by podcast, Wherever you're listening to it, the uh, show notes will be there. Here is another quote. It is an immutable law in business that words are words, explanations are explanations, promises are promises, but only performance is reality. Harold S. Jeanine. Jeanine. I don't know if I'm saying that name right. Jeanine. G-E-N-E-E-N. That's a good quote, regardless of how you say his name. It's a good quote. Okay, a little water break here. Hopefully that wasn't too loud in the microphone. Ooh, I better pull, mute it next time, just in case that is loud in the microphone. I hate that noise. All right, here we go again. See, leave me alone. And this is what happens. All right, you guys. <laughs> Thank you for hanging in there with me. <laughs> Why you and your work matter. You are designed to be happy, fulfilled, and significant. You matter and your story and your, the work that you do matters. The things that turn you on and make your heart sing, your desires, point to your design. 
You are uniquely designed with specific talents and abilities to accomplish the tasks it will take to fulfill your mission. If you have an entrepreneurial bent, and you do, or you wouldn't be reading this book or watching Spirit Center Business, there is an excellent chance that your mission will be fulfilled by your business. Fulfilling your mission is your destiny. Your desires point to your design, and your design points to your destiny. I'm going to put a little extra padding under the microphone here, just in case when I touch the table, so that it doesn't make any undue noises. Hopefully, I haven't been doing that all the way along. Anyway, microphone adjustment, done. Aligning your business to your mission and passion. Designed around your authenticity, your business can be a unique expression of who you are, your strengths, your passions, and your past. Nothing in the marketplace is more attractive to your ideal clients than you being fully you. What mess have you been through that you could help other someone else either avoid or get through? Make your mess your message. We all have a message and we have been given a mission to share it to help people. My message is that you can inspire others while you're still under construction. Well, I found a typo in my book. Huh. Good thing I'm having it redone for Amazon. I'll take care of that little thing right now. All right. Here's my transparency moment. Recently, I was feeling like I could not or should not be teaching this material because I am still under construction in a lot of mindset, fear, ego, and letting go areas. I just happened to pick up a copy of a magazine and read an article on fear by Joyce Meyer. It meant so much to me that she revealed that she still struggles with fear. It literally gives me hope and renews my spirit to know that I'm not alone. And if she can influence 4.5 billion people while she's still under construction, I can influence the thousands and tens of thousands that I'm called to help. And you can too. There are people on the other side of you getting over your hiding, your fear, your ego, your perfectionism, who need your message as much as I needed Joyce's in that moment. And just in case you think I've arrived, I am still overcoming these things. Perfectionism, ego, pride, fear of rejection, not good enough mindset, letting go of control, and especially hiding. Although with the show now, I kind of am getting over hiding. People can't believe that I hide, that I do, but I don't anymore. Watch my words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Am I better than I used to be? Absolutely. And that's why I can honestly tell you that it's better on this side of getting over myself. And I want that for you too. You're uniquely designed and positioned exactly where you are geographically, emotionally, in your career, in your life situation, at this moment at time, God has already allocated people to you. You have your very own peeps who have also been designed with the notch in their puzzle piece edge that only you perfectly fit. Your message, your past experiences, your style, your personality, and your energy combine to magnetize you. How do you tell how? you tell your authentic story in your business. How do you become relatable so your clients will think, she's just like me? Your life experiences and the lessons you've learned from them make you uniquely attractive to your peeps. There are people on the other side of this journey who need what you have to offer and they are waiting for you. And I can't stress that enough. That is so critical. The next page is the commitment to letting go exercise. 
And you know what I'll do? As long as I'm reading chapter one, I'm just going to put this exercise in a link to this exercise, just the PDF of, of it in the show notes. Let me make myself a note to do that. Um, show notes activations, that's what I'll call it. See, when I have a guest on the show, I'm making notes while they're talking. When I don't have a guest, I got to make notes while I'm talking. Thing I can not take myself too seriously. Thank you for not taking my, me too seriously either. I appreciate that. All right, onward. Shall we continue? Yes, we shall. Planning to profit process overview. The mindset, the strategy, and making the journey. This proven process plans a solid content strategy and daily tactical guide for coaches, consultants, and speakers to build a wisdom-based business around their message. You will discover, create, and deliver your way to profit. This process helps you create your unique blueprint for inspiring and transforming more people to make a bigger difference in the world through your business. Note, these steps are often not linear. However, for the ease of describing the process to you, they are laid out sequentially. And that is so true. Let me just do a little bit of a commentary here because I always say there's no cookie cutter. Yes, I have a signature process. And yes, I, excuse me, work through it with my clients and, and it flows like the book. However, Clients come to me on all different levels in every different area. And so we, I have to kind of do an assessment where they are and then what is their goal or their, their primary objective. And we work on that and we pick up where they are so that um, it, it makes most sense. And it's also based on their learning style, how they want to design their lifestyle, because we never want to design a business that just creates another job for us. We want to design the business around the lifestyle that we want to lead. And that's another reason I love having this ocean behind me in the, in the view, because I love, um, I'm casual and I love to be you know, in beautiful locations. I don't mind at all working from a beach. In fact, I've got, I was in Puerto Vallarta and I love what I do. So yeah, I had my computer and I was doing stuff and, and dreaming and designing content and, you know, working on stuff. And I absolutely loved it. I love to be in a beautiful place and working because I love what I do. So that's why it's so important to design your business around the lifestyle that you want to lead. And that's why it's not a cookie cutter process. That's why I work with my clients individually. Yes, when we do the group and everyone is kind of going along at the same pace or make different, that's why I'll open it up for questions because some people are in a different part of the process and they want to ask different questions or they, they have different concerns or they see something a different way or they want to tweak the system so that it works better for them. And I'm so all for that. I am so not militant on you have to follow the process exactly this way and you have to do it in exactly these steps. And it's so not about that. But the only way I could write a book was to put it in that step. So anyway, there's my, there's my little side note of a rant. Let me just take another drink of water and I'm going to cover the microphone here. I don't know if it helped or not. <laughs> I guess I should actually push the mute button. But anyway, there we go. At least I didn't get water at my nose or something. <laughs> See what happens when you leave me alone. Okay, people, you need to send me, send me suggestions for who you want on the show so that this doesn't happen. All right. No, I'm just teasing. I, I do really, I do really want to share the book with you. It's, it's very good and it has helped people. I just, a little self-conscious. I'll get over my hiding. Okay, here we go. So here's the process. Number one, discover, discover you. A, B, and C. A, intention awareness. What are you really planning on? B, how critical 
emotional intelligence is to your business and see what you really want. Number two, your business. We're under discover, discover your business. A, inventory. What content do you already have in place that works? B, inventory. What platform pieces are set up and running? And C, what's working, what's not? Number three, under discover, your clients. Number A, letter A, who is your ideal client? B, what is their gateway problem and the underlying problem? C, where are they and how can you find them? Section two, create. Number one, brainstorm. Everything that you can teach or share, the whole tool shed. Tool shed. Number two, categorize, create buckets by theme or transformational process, like two to five buckets. Number three, sort by size or break into steps or both, from a single point to make to a year-long transformational process. A, freebies or lead magnets are free or very low cost, which is under $25. B, easy yes offers. They're easy to say yes to. <laughs> 25 to $100. C, low range, 50 to $200. D, mid range, 200 to $500. E, upper range, 500 to $1,500. F, high end, 1500 to $5,000. And G, anything over or exclusive, anything over $5,000. Number four in Create is schedule a launch date and plan your marketing campaign. Choose the most complete profit path and go for it. Start with the freebie content you allocated for lead magnets and get her done. Five, set up your platform. We focus on the parts of your platform that are on the critical path to getting to revenue as quickly as possible. Six, gaps and bridges. See where your existing toolkit may not get the whole job done. Make a plan to fill in the gaps and bridges so that your clients get a full transformation and awesome value. And number seven under create is WTO, work tail off. Get busy, complete your lead magnet and easy yes content, begin working your gaps and bridges plan and market it to hit your launch date on time. Section three, deliver. D-W-Y-S-Y-W-D. Do what you said you would do. Deliver on the promise you made to yourself using the P2P tools to keep you on track. Number two, lead magnets. Make additional lead magnets available to build your list or tribe and let people know they're available. I need to take my own advice right there. I've got so many lead magnets. Did you guys know that I have so many free gifts available to you? Probably not. All right. I better just not go there. Number three, market. Get in front of as many people as possible and offer your easy yes. Deliver consistency. Stick to your plan. Even if only three people show up to a workshop or whatever, do it anyway. Serve with the same energy as if a hundred people show up. If this occurs, your profit path just happens to include a three-person launch. Don't worry, just keep building. You can't get to the fifth or tenth or twenty-fifth event without getting through numbers one, two, and three. I believe in you. And I do. We are done with the introduction. Section one, discover. In discover, we learn concepts and ideas about you, your business, and your clients. Chapter one, discover where you are and what you're really planning on. It all starts with you. If you master you, then you can master your business. But don't worry, we're all under construction. Mastery is actually a journey. 
So as you learn more about yourself and really grasp how amazingly powerful you are, your business will increase and your service to others will increase too. Here's how we're gonna master you. This segment is all about one, mindset, two, expectations and internal intention, awareness. This is internal, but that's not what I have here. Expectations and intention awareness. And number three, emotions. We'll discover how important these factors are in planning to profit. Later in the create phase, we'll create new beliefs and implement tools to help you stay focused and keep you expecting your business to thrive. The knowledge I use in this book comes from many different sources, including faith-based and secular references. My personal belief system comes from the Judeo-Christian tradition. Whatever beliefs you may have, I hold no judgment. I ask that you have an open mind. Why? With an open mind, you may find truth hiding in surprising places. The right mindset for designing and launching your business. Let's start by being truthful with ourselves about whether or not any of these apply. You find yourself stuck, struggling to get results in your business and or life. You lack clarity about how you could be expressing into yourself in the world. You feel overwhelmed by your business or by life in general. You find your self-confidence below par and limiting you in taking action. You have thoughts about your creative talents not being good enough. Your current cash flow doesn't support the lifestyle you desire. Well, how'd you do? If you're struggling with any of the above, this phase of discovery will be extremely beneficial in mastery of you. P.S. You're not alone. And it's not always going to be this way. These are lies that we all hear in our heads. Slaying the dragons of fear, doubt, and worry, and other unhelpful beasts in order to fulfill the mission you were created to carry out comes down to these three things, mindset, expectations, and emotional intelligence. Let's begin with the mindset and address the most insipid and pervasive profit-repelling one, poverty. Poverty versus abundance belief systems. Are you mindfully prepared for income or are you subconsciously blocking it? Many of us grow up, grew up unwittingly with a poverty belief system that informs our thoughts, attitudes, and decisions. I don't know about you, but I suspect you heard these phrases often throughout childhood like I did. Money doesn't grow on trees. Money is the root of all evil. Rich people are, fill in the blank, corrupt, greedy, evil, pick your poison. In fact, think about how many TV shows or movies portray the rich person as the bad guy, from It's a Wonderful Life to The Dukes of Hazard. The rich guy is the enemy of our heroes. Use the following activation exercises to recalibrate your mindset. And again, I will put these activation exercises in the show notes. Here's another um, thing you could do too. Let's see, this podcast is airing in April. And on April 25th, I'm doing a mindset, money mindset uh, retreat. So you can go to spiritcenteredbusiness.com forward slash mindset retreat, all one word, mindset retreat, and either sign up if you're, if you're before April 25th, sign up to be there live, or you can get the recordings. I'm going to make those available as soon as they're ready on that page, spiritcenteredbusiness.com forward slash 
mindset retreat. We're going to be talking exactly about this thing and we're going to do some of these exercises and I have a lot more cool exercises that we're going to be doing on that retreat. I think that all of it will be on the recordings unless, unless we get into personal issues with the people who are in attendance, then we're not going to include that in the recordings. But in general, all of the teaching and training will be in the recordings. So make sure that you go over there and grab that. Okay, so that is um, the second activation in the book. There are 19 ac activations in the book, by the way, 19 exercises um, or things that move you forward in your mindset, your business strategy, those kinds of things. 19 of them in this book. I'm a busy little beaver, aren't I? All right, onward. Shall we continue? Yes, we shall. Mindsets, beliefs, and behaviors. So how are you supposed to attract money when you can't help but associate it with being bad or evil? Well, undoing a lifetime of beliefs might seem impossible. I want to encourage you. You can definitely create a new prosperous mindset. Your first step is to be very intentional on replacing those limiting beliefs, feelings, attitudes, and thoughts with more truthful ones. We will cover how to do this in the create section. For now, let's learn a little more about mindsets, beliefs, and the behaviors they drop. Our mindset is basically what we decide to set our minds on. At some point, we made the decision to think a certain way, even if we don't remember when we made it. Usually, this is something that happened as a child when our brains weren't fully developed. We couldn't understand the context or we associated things that really didn't go together. I heard about a young man who held a suspicious dislike of cashiers. It turns out that when he was three years old, his mom promised him a toy if he behaved well in the store. He found a toy car and focused his attention on it while his mom shopped. When it came time to check out, the car wouldn't ring up and the cashier realized it was because it had been recalled due to lead paint. She couldn't sell it and had to take it away from him. So from that day forward, he didn't trust cashiers. Experts say that self-control is only 5% possible, concluding that 95% of our thoughts and behavior are controlled by our self-conscious, subconscious, although I am self-conscious, but you know what I mean. So 95%. So that's why we need to take care of our subconscious. So here we go. Keep moving on here. What do we do when we realize that we have a wrong mindset? Recall when you had a negative reaction to a situation. Think about the very first time you felt that negative feeling. When you take a look at the incident with your adult point of view, the entire perspective changes and you get to choose a new belief about it. Science calls this subconscious reprogramming. Yes, you get to choose a new belief. Now here's an asterisk here. I highly recommend seeking a qualified inner healing counselor to help you with this process. And very shortly, I will be a certified lie buster and you will be able to book a session with me. And you can go to spiritcenterbusiness.com forward slash healing for more information. So as soon as I am certified i will have that on there but i do have more information on that page right now so you can learn more about what libusters is it's again the the website is uh, spiritcenterbusiness.com forward slash healing are you really planning to profit the words you tell yourself and the words you speak reveal what you're really planning on one of the universal laws God set in place is the law of expectation. Expectations demands action. James, the half-brother of Jesus, and actually his name was Jacob, 
Uh, that's another long story. Anyway, he wrote in James Jacob <laughs> 2 26, faith without works is dead. As in, if you really do have faith, you'll get your little mission in motion and get ready to receive whatever you're having faith for. Action. Another quote, because of your faith or expectancy, it will happen. That's from the Living Bible. Or you will have, you will have what your faith expects. And that is the Passion Translation. And those are both Matthew 9.29. In the Rosenthal Jacobson study, researchers told teachers they were chosen out of all of their peers to teach a class of exceptionally bright students. At the end of the term, the students scored significantly higher than the average students in the other classes. The results make complete sense given what the teachers had been told, right? Wrong. The researchers then revealed something disconcerting. Not only were those students not exceptionally bright, they were actually slower learners. I'm sure the teachers thought, well, this means they are brilliant teachers. And that's why you would choose us, right? Wrong again. In addition, the researchers then revealed that the teachers hadn't been specially chosen, but in actuality, their names had been randomly drawn. What the teachers and the students achieved was totally unanticipated and proved the power of expectation. When you expect your team to be brilliant, they will surprise you. And when you expect a project to go poorly, then it probably will. This is called the Pygmalion or Rosenthal effect. And I quote the source. I'll leave the website. Okay. Another quote: "Change your expectation. Ex, uh, change your expectancies. Easy for you to say. Change your expectancies, and you change your conditions." Florence Scovel Shin. So, what's the takeaway here? It's so critical to pay attention to what you're expecting. Your expectations reveal your mindset and your belief system. The science of intention awareness. Are you mindfully prepared for income or are you subconsciously blocking it? Let's look at the science of mindset and beliefs. I geek out on how science reveals our amazing design and the design of the universe. And maybe you'll find these facts as fascinating as I do. Number one, the heart-brain communication. The heart, this is a quote, the heart is a sensory organ and acts as a sophisticated information encoding and processing center that enables it to learn, remember, and make independent functional decisions. This is from the Institute of Heart Math. This means that thoughts are generated in the heart and signals are sent to the brain to visualize them and or form words you then see or hear in your mind. The heart and the brain communicate in four ways, neurologically through the nervous system, biophysically through pulse waves, biochemically through hormones, and electromagnetically through energy or frequency. That may be why we get feelings we can't put a finger on, or we get a feeling a split second before we recognize the thought that goes with it. And the Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he, Proverbs 26.3. Well, I'm glad science is finally catching up. Number two, heart energy. According to the Institute of Heart Math, the heart is 60 times stronger electrically and 5,000 times stronger magnetically than the brain. This electromagnetic field can be measured up to eight feet away from the body and can and does affect the environment and other people. 
In fact, a study determined that energy transference occurs between two people who are touching and even up to three feet apart. Now, this doesn't even take into quantum entanglement and all of that kind of stuff. Just amazing. This is what science has measured so far. I think they'll invent even more sensitive equipment that can detect a person's energy much further away. And I think that they already have, to tell you the truth. Wouldn't it be cool to have a BS meter, like a Geiger counter that goes off click, 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 <laughs> when a smarmy person is about to invade your positive energy? I actually wrote that. Yes, I'm being facetious, but I really did write it in here too. I am that much of a goofball. Okay, here we go. Number three, emotional intelligence. Have you ever gotten so upset you couldn't think straight or said or did something in a fit of rage that moments after you heard you think, whoa, who was that? That is negative emotions literally shutting down brain function. But let, let, let's look at the good side. Emotional intelligence is the ability to sense, understand, and effectively apply the power and acumen of emotions to facilitate high levels of collaboration and productivity. Mickey O'Brien. I haven't seen Mickey in years. Hello, Mickey, if you're watching. Science has been able to show how positive emotions increase brain performance. This is a quote. Studies demonstrate that intentionally altering one's emotional state modifies neurological input from the heart to the brain. The data suggest that as people experience sincere positive feeling states, the changed information flow from the heart to the brain may act to modify cortical function and influence performance. These findings may also help explain the significant shifts, shifts in perception, increased mental clarity, and heightened intuitive awareness many individuals have reported. And again, this is the Institute of Heart Math. Again, God already told us about this. Above all, guard your above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Proverbs 4.23. If you want to have clear, focused thinking, you will need to manage, manage your emotional state. Whatever is true, whatever is worthy of reverence and honorable and seemly, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely and lovable, whatever is kind and winsome and gracious, if there is any virtue and excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think on and weigh and take account of these things. Fix your mind on them. That's Philippians 4, 8 from the Amplified Bible Classic Edition. So how important is your mindset when you're a business owner or a leader? We've already established that the heart communicates with the brain. So if there's something off in the condition of your heart, like an emotional wounding, it will affect your thoughts, beliefs, and mindset. In the filter game, here's an exercise to show you how emotions and mood affect your mindset, which affects your outlook, productivity, and ultimately your success. First, imagine having a really, really bad day. You woke up late to find the toilet backed up. You mess up shaving or putting on makeup. The dog got into the garbage and it was all over the house. Your spouse took the lunch you had planned to take, so now you have to prepare another one. You get behind the cotton top going 20 miles an hour below the speed limit. Boss is impatiently waiting when you get to work, etc., etc. Bad day. Okay, so I have to show you this picture. In there. Ambrose was having a really bad day, and he didn't care who knew about it. 
Okay. So this exercise I will put, uh, no, this one is in the tools. Go to um, berlinnewbie.com forward slash tools and it's in there. All of the exercises are in there. This one is, I'll, I'll just do it right here. So finish these thoughts when you're having this really, really horrible day. You're in this state. I am blank. I feel blank. The color I see is blah. Where is my body? Where in my body do I feel this uh, pit of your stomach or on your shoulders or wherever you feel it? Men are, women are, people are, the world is, and my business is, life is, and my future is. That's one side of the filter. Now, Next, imagine you're on top of the world. You are energized and excited in a relationship you absolutely love. Your heart is soaring, your business is soaring, and you're on an amazing vacation. And here's the picture for this. Yay. Now finish these thoughts. I am, I feel, the color I see is. Where in my body do I feel this? Men are, women are, people are, the world is, my business is, life is, my future is. That's a lot better, doesn't it? That feels a lot better. And here's the cool thing about this exercise. You can run it forward and backward. If you're thinking about your future and it's looking a little dingy, or... If you just have a yucky feeling, look at your mindset and what you've been thinking about. Does something trigger an emotion that started a downward spiral? One last thought. If you want to have clear, focused thinking, manage your emotional state. And that wraps up chapter one of planning to profit, architecting your unique story into a business you love. Bye, Berlin newbie. Some chick. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for putting up with me uh, without any adult supervision. And uh, if you want to get more on that money mindset, and I also go into some of the strategy of monetizing your message at the retreat on April 25th, if you want to join us live, go to, go to spiritcenteredbusiness.com forward slash mindset retreat. And if you're after April 25th, then the recordings will be there available for you to get. All right. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. I so appreciate you liking, subscribing, sharing with your friends if you are enjoying the show so far. Next week, I promise we'll have a guest. I actually know who it is. I'm not going to say it, though. I don't want to say it just in case something happens. You will just have to find out. And of course, for all of the shows, go to spiritcenterbusiness.com and click on the podcast button. You can also see them on the YouTube channel, Berlin Newbie. And I usually um, post on Facebook. I kind of post a promotion on Facebook. Lately, we have not been able to go live to Facebook because of technology, but that's okay because you can always join me live on um YouTube on the YouTube channel. That's where I'll be in the chat. So if you want to, you know, comment as we go along, I'll be sitting there live commenting and watching along with you. All right, you guys, that is all. That is it. That is enough. Until next time, stay spirit centered. Peace out. Thank you for listening to Spirit Centered Business with Berlin Newby. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. The next stage of doing business by being spirit-centered is coming together in collaboration, working with spiritual principles and knowing our destiny. Join our tribe at spiritcenteredbusiness.com and we'll catch you on the next broadcast. Peace out.